Previously on Survivor La Plata. On Toggy, Meredith was excited to play alongside Flannery. My roommate is on my tribe, <laughs> and she's very strategic. I think that we are going to be good players until one of us gets knocked off, then it'll be harder, I think. So we're going to have to find an alliance that we can trust. While Pagong's leader, Clark, made a bold statement about the first challenge. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying that Tagi needs to be ready to go to Tribal Council because I am guaranteeing that Pagong will not lose the first challenge. At that challenge, Colleen narrowly won it for Pagong. Pagong nervous, they're giving it a shot. Wait, from the very end. For immunity! <laughs> and with Tribal Council looming, the first Tagi Alliance was formed. You can't. I'm being filmed right now. Okay. Austin, no, that's, that's Austin. Me, Doug, Alex, Meredith, and Flannery had a meeting. Uh, impromptu. I was just talking to Alex and Doug about how we were pissed about Steen, and Meredith and Flannery walked in. And we did what we had to do for Survivor, and I'm, I'm not happy about it. And after showing up late to the first challenge, Katie became the Alliance's choice. So far, the only person that the only name that we've both thrown out would be Katie. Um, Katie knows pretty much everyone in the game. She could be really powerful, very, very powerful. And at Tribal Council, Katie became the first person voted out of the game. Katie, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I didn't see the Kate Salvo coming at all. Coming, yeah, I didn't see that coming at all. Twenty are left, and only one can claim the winning prize. Who will be voted out tonight? I didn't even talk to anybody before the first vote. I think I'm one of the few people who didn't vote for Katie, and it was definitely surprising to see her go. I mean, I didn't realize she was going to be a target at all. I don't know why people vote for Katie, to be honest. I really think that I should have gotten out on that first vote, but I don't know. I don't know. I voted for Flannery because I knew that no one else would vote for her. First Tribal Council is just everyone kind of voted for themselves. I voted for Katie because she was late, and that's it. I didn't have anyone else, any reason to vote anyone else. Somehow my friend Katie had to get voted off. Didn't have anything to do with that. Yeah, we, we kind of split up our votes, so it didn't seem like we were all voting together. I was really worried at first because, you know, I'm like the outsider, so I was worried that I'd, you know, they just get rid of the outsiders first. But obviously that didn't happen. Then I kind of calmed down a little bit. I just definitely got to get working on the relationships with all the people that I'm not as close with on the team. I don't think the losing divides us at all because I think it's one of those things where we knew we were so close, we knew we almost had it, and that'll just make us even more motivated to pull it out next time.
With the game's first vote in the books, Jolene was able to join the Tagi tribe. I think she'll be a good addition to the team. She seemed excited to... And the fact that she was there and not participating for me, it was kind of a big thing. showed that she was interested. Since I was on Exile Island, Austin gave me a clue to give to somebody, which would like help me on my team. So then, Jolene comes on the tribe. She gives me the clue. And I was like, I thought her name was Julian. Julian. So I was just like, <laughs> who is this? What? I... I don't know. I I don't know why I picked her. I I just kind of like liked her from the beginning, and I I wanted to give it to her. Um, I think Machine would be an ally of mine. I can sort of get her vote um, when I need it. Um, ben could be another one who really would uh, be on my side. I think he'll be around and. I'd like to keep him around in the alliance as well. Victoria, you know, I don't want to play it like she's like my biggest ally, but she totally is because she's like the nicest girl ever. So I mean, we'll be together. But it's like, not only will it be another number in whatever I want to vote for, but if we happen to make it to the end together, I can easily convince everyone I strategize more than she did. And Nicole is not on my tribe, but if she, ma I don't, I don't see her making it too far. But if she does, I can use her later. I just, um, I haven't made a set alliance because I need to kind of see how things go. As the players examine their pairs in the game, Kyle thought he had a leg up with one. Tyreek hasn't wasn't in on the um the voting last night, so I think I can possibly string him along from a different direction. And now that Tyreek's coming in, I feel like I really have the balance of power swinging in my direction. But that same person happened to be Clark's roommate and most trusted friend in the game. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna work with other people, but in terms of like completely trusting somebody, Tyreek too is also otherwise. Not. And it was this particular pair that frightened Nick and Shubal. I mean, I made an alliance with Clark like at the beach, and I was like, oh, absolutely, the last two, and then she like, oh, that's not happening. <laughs> no, I could definitely see Clark and Tyree backstabbing us. Yeah, no, I, like, we can't, if it's us four, it would be you and then me. Like, that's what would happen. Yeah. No, they would take us to the end, and then they would make their own little alliance to vote us out. Clark. Me, Nick, Tyreek, yeah, no, where's Clark? Oh, Clark. Basically, the no, alliance. I'd be like, Clark. And then we have a separate alliance with Kyle and Nasheen. And then our inner alliance really go deeper. Me, Nasheen, Nick, and Kyle. Yeah. I feel like my tribe on the outside is going to seem like it's me, Clark, Tyreek, Nick, and me. So, but really I'm going to have a secret alliance with Kyle and Nasheen and me and Nick. But I'm gonna keep that a secret so people think that Kyle and Nashim are next to go, but really, we both dumb out one before. I can truly trust uh, Shubal, Druid Shubal. He's, me and him are gonna be probably, he's gonna be the person that I'd guard his back the most to probably. And you've got all the other guys, I think we kind of have formed a block, at least a, if not a completely solid block, something more like Play Doh, which is kind of moldable, but uh, we can keep it together. Alliance? What? Alliance. I feel like me and Nick are in alliance. Um. Kyle No, just you. No, alright. Just me. Can I shake my hand? <laughs> this is not feeling confident right now. No, retake, retake. Lions. You fucking have to It's a lions up here. <laughs> I think Nick's a pretty big, but it's not my alliance, but I think I think he's gonna be pretty trustworthy until we get towards the end, and I think he's got some plans for me. It was then that Steph entered the conversation and was also drawn to the Clark and Tyreek fear. Uh, Clark is like a strong player, but I don't think, um, we need him to win challenges, but eventually it's like, really easy to convince people he's a social threat, and then they'll go for him before me. But are you is, okay, because Tyreek will do whatever Clark just ended, but they're like... I completely forgot about Tyreek, though. I think we have to get rid of That's Tyreek. Tricky. Tyreek first, because we no need Clark like, more to win physical yeah. challenges, yeah. but, but Clark doesn't have his power. Yeah, we need to cut off all his little minions over there. Yeah, that's, that's exactly <laughs> so we still get him for the challenges. Yeah, definitely. You know I love Tariq, but I'll be so sad. It's just he, he doesn't really, like, help anybody. Really I mean, obviously I have no idea if, like, Nick and Shubal just talking about that. We're kind of like, we should, you know, kind of get Clark and whatever, you know, but I have no idea if they're going to be legit about it. This is a big threat, so I might need to take care of it. At the Immunity Challenge, 
the two tribes competed in the water for the first time. The tribes had to assemble in a straight line at the edge of the pool, in an order they determined. Players had to then cross the line of their tribe in a very narrow space by only touching one player at a time. Yet despite the challenging conditions, both tribes quickly mastered the crossing art, and in a span of just two minutes, both got their whole tribe across. It was Pagong that held a very slight lead going into the second leg, where the tribes had to move a ping pong ball across the length of the pool without the use of their hands. And it was Doug who avenged his domino's loss and used the pool's gutter to move along the ping pong ball with incredible ease, giving Tagi their first immunity win and sending Pagong to their first tribal council where everybody but Clark was vulnerable. Following the second challenge, the vote had become quite clear for Pagong. Basically after the swimming challenge, after we'd lost, Nick basically said, it's okay because we're just going to vote dead. I don't know, he, he didn't show particularly well in the first challenge with the volleyball, and then he didn't show up to the second challenge. Ben was the last one I tried. He was the last one down before we had to vote, so we were all down there discussing, kind of confirming who our vote was going to be. It was probably Ben before that, but that kind of put it over the edge. It's uh, myself, Nick, Tariq, Chul, Victoria, and Steph. The six of us agreed to vote Ben. Here's my vote. I love everyone here, but uh, unfortunately I just had to go. The only person I know wasn't at both challenges, but sorry. So I'm going to vote Ben, simply because, well, because the rest of the tribe is going to vote Ben. What do I do with this? I don't know. Oh, shit. <laughs> I feel like Ben could have been a good person to make an alliance with later on in the game, but if the vote goes the way I think it is, that's not going to happen. Okay. Sorry, Ben. Ben, I'm sorry. Honestly, I'd like to think I have a plan. I don't think this person really fits in it. Voting for Ben this week. Sorry. I know you seem like you care. I'm starting to see it. It's good. Someone's got to go, though. Sorry, Ben. I don't even really know you. Did I think that all nine of us were going to vote him? No. Got voted off. Um, kind of sad, honestly. It was I was starting to have fun doing this, and I wouldn't say I didn't expect it being not being at the last challenge. But I wish it wasn't me, there's some other people that weren't there. And I wish I wasn't the one that uh, ended up getting voted off. But it is what it is, and uh, good luck to everybody else. And I will see you around, around La Plata all the time. <laughs>